You and I are on a mission. We've traveled back in time to meet a very important person. Let's call him Sam. And he asks us, what do 21st century Americans eat at a festival? And we look at each other and we say, corn dogs. It's summertime, and no matter where you go, there's a festival or a fair. And at every one of these events, you can always find corn dogs. Sometimes you get a great corn dog, sometimes not so much. How can we make the best corn dog ever? Our time machine has landed us in 1794, and all we have with us are the clothes on our back. So we have to make this amazing corn dog with only the ingredients and techniques that we find here in the 18th century. Mr. Adams has just been elected governor of Massachusetts and we want to celebrate. We want to make him an amazing treat. I had to do digging on this one. Finding an 18th century corn dog, well, it's not there. So we have to look for parallels and similar items, especially if we can think of them as street food. We have a phrase, which is kind of like a pancake with meat in the middle. That's getting close. We also have a German recipe from the late 18th century, which has a bratwurst with dough on the outside. That's getting pretty close. We also have something that's street food, which is sausage on a stick. If we combine all these together and we bring in that amazing American ingredient, which is cornmeal, I think we're getting there. Our biggest challenge will be the hot dog. There's nothing like a hot dog in the 18th century, so we're going to substitute a superior meat, and that is the sausage link. And if we're being honest, I don't think anybody's gonna cry over leaving the hot dog behind. Each of the ancestor recipes we've done before all have a batter. And in this batter, it's going to be a very simple one. We don't necessarily have a recipe, but we do have some ideas about what to do with this. It's a simple batter, normally with just flour, milk, eggs, maybe a little bit of salt. Of course, since this is America and the 18th century, and it's a corn dog, we want to have corn in there. So we're going to mix our batter with 50-50 regular flour and cornmeal. And to make that classic corn dog flavor, a little bit of sugar also. So a very simple batter. And we're gonna make the batter first so it has a little time to set. Let's mix our dry ingredients. We have a cup and a half of cornmeal. We also have a cup and a half of all-purpose flour. Along with those, we have sugar, maybe a quarter of a cup of sugar, and a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. We're going to mix those up until they're consistent within the entire batch, and now we can add in our wet ingredients. Our wet ingredients are two eggs. I'm just going to toss those whole in here and about a cup and a half of milk. We should mix those up until we have a thick batter. This looks like a perfect consistency to start with. It's going to thicken up. I'm going to set this aside and I want it to thicken up for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. We'll adjust the batter at that point so it sticks properly to the outside of our sausage. Now remember, Mr. Adams never heard of a hot dog, that's for sure. And there's nothing quite like a hot dog here in the 18th century. So we're gonna have to make up a sausage. We're gonna make a pork sausage. We're just gonna take pork here and chop it up. They, they didn't have the grinding machinery that we do today. So we're just going to chop this up a whole bunch until we get to our version of ground pork. We'll mix that 50-50 with some beef suet and then add in a few spices. The next part of our sausage is adding the extra fat. Yes, we have to add extra fat. That's the only way to make a sausage. And the fat we're going to use is suet. Suet is a special kind of fat. We can't use lard here. Lard will not work. It'll just make a mess. Suet is a very high temperature fat. It melts at a much higher temperature and therefore we can easily mix it with our meat and as it cooks, it will disappear. It'll create little pockets in our sausage that makes it not just this dense chunk of meat. And that's what we're really looking for. Suet is kidney fat. It forms around the internal organs in the cow and it is a completely different consistency than muscle fat. Muscle fat turns to oil almost immediately. You can't really make it harden up. It just turns into a, just a paste, really, and is not usable at all. This suet is a lot more like wax. 
and in fact, sometimes we use it for candles in the 18th century. And it is perfect for sausage. We're going to set our sausage aside before we batter them to cool off. We can't just give Mr. Adams a corn dog, right? We have to make it something a little bit more than that. So we're going to make a special something to go along with that classic fair food. We're going to do onion rings, but these onion rings we've done in the past. They're so good and they're extra special because it's done with Parmesan cheese. The full recipe for this is three eggs whisked up. We need five tablespoons of cream. We need a quarter cup of flour and five ounces of Parmesan cheese finely grated. You can also add a little bit of salt, also some pepper. For our purposes today, I'll cut this recipe down a little bit. I really want this to be great for Mr. Adams. And this looks great. Question is, do they taste right? So here we go. Onion ring first. I love that Parmesan cheese in here. It's the best mix. A wonderful way for doing onion rings. So if you make your own onion rings, try out this Parmesan cheese batter. Now, the corn dog. This is the important part. We've got to get this one right. We've got sausage in here and it's got that suet, which is going to give it a little bit of beef flavor. It's going to make it the right kind of fattiness. These look good in the pan. They should be even better in this corn dog. And we have the batter mix on the outside, that cornmeal mix. It doesn't have leavening like we normally have, so it's probably going to be a little thicker, a little crunchier, and I can't wait to try it. Look at that. It's perfect. Even though it doesn't have nutmeg in it, this is the best corn dog I have ever had. And I have eaten a lot of corn dogs. I love it. You're going to love it. And Sam is going to love this.